Good morning from Beirut. Our time in Lebanon has came to an end and we are just waiting on our driver to come and pick us up to go to a brand new country, which is Syria. We have been excited for this trip for a long time. We planned it for, what would you say, five months? Sounds like May, soon, yeah. so yeah, about six months. But unfortunately, we both have the worst shits imaginable. <laughs> it's you horrific. Words. I know, it's awful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I googled the drive, it says two and a half hours, so hopefully it takes less than five. Um, <laughs> now I hear there is a lot of military checkpoints along the way, so fingers crossed every single one of them has a toilet for us both. <laughs> it took like any nerves or excitement about this trip away because I think we're both more nervous about whether we don't make it to the toilet or not. <sighs> so <feeling> <laughs> yeah, so this has been a bit of a nightmare, we were told be in the hotel lobby for 8am and it's now 20 past 10. We had the worst sleep ever last night because we were so unwell so we could have done with an extra couple of hours in bed this morning <laughs> rather than sitting in this hotel lobby which is so warm. <laughs> Update, it is now 20 past 11 so we've sat here for three and a half hours. I'm so tired. We're in like a group chat with everyone that's going to be in our tour. And every time someone phones the guy says, Oh we ten minutes, are we ten minutes, be ten minutes? So he said that to us thirty minutes ago now and we're still waiting. <laughs> Is this the one? No idea. I think we have it. Yes. Yeah. I think he's your driver. Yeah. And then does he have our names though? Does he have our names? Uh, I have no idea. No. Phone his number. We've got his number. Yeah. So some guy said he's here to get us, but we don't know if it's him or not. Uh, so I'm phoning him. Uh, ah, is this? Ah, I think it's the right guy, finally. So at last we are departing Beirut for Damascus. So much later than planned, but at least we're on the way now. Oh. You came from Glasgow? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Ethan Not just came best. from Glasgow. You just came from Glasgow? Yeah. What? No. Did you like Scotland? You know, the Scottish people uh, and, and, and uh, Irish people are very similar to the Montenegrian. We never usually meet anyone. No, never. Never. You met two people. <laughs> usually, like, where? <laughs> Whiskey? <laughs> no way. That's brilliant. What is the chances? <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh my gosh. So you're traveling to Lebanon and Syria and you have Scottish your, yeah. in your group, you know, you have two persons who will travel to Scotland and I I have, I have even <laughs> Scottish pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's a Scottish team group. <laughs> This is us reached the Lebanon border to get our passport stamped to then enter Syria. How are you feeling? <laughs> this is so cool. Look <laughs> at this. So we have been stamped out of Lebanon and we are about to cross this border behind me. I am so excited. We have waited a long, long time for this. You hold it and then you like... Actually, I'm also not good at it. Okay. Some people can just... Can you do it? Like I like said, like I counted money the European way. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> How they do it here is like 
they hold the money. Technically, we're not really in any sort of country right now. We're stamped out of Lebanon and we're not stamped Yeah, so cool. <laughs> we're in no man's land. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> this <Ready>? is so cool. <laughs> so, in a few moments, we will have officially crossed the Syrian border. Wow, this is this, this is the coolest thing we've ever done. Very exciting. Ah, proper adventure, isn't it? Even yeah. the whole process has just been like. <laughs> yeah, and there's not very many people that get to see that sign. Well, thank God, we don't need to use this toilet. Well, here we are, stamped into Syria. Is that your best stamp yet? I don't know, I've not saw it yet. <laughs> so we're now getting back in the van and it's time to drive on into Damascus. So we'll show you a little bit of the countryside as we pass it and then show you where we're staying tonight. So we have reached the centre of Damascus and we're getting out of our minivan and now we're getting into a golf buggy to take us to our hotel I'm guessing. Who knows? <laughs> if you want, you can go with him. If you want walking here, it will be around 10 minutes. Up to you. I can walk. This is cool. So, golf buggies to travel around Syria. How cool is that? <laughs> Wow. This is your room. Wow. This is Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. The bathroom is huge. We've only been here maybe two minutes and this might be the, the nicest hotel I've ever stayed in in my entire life. This is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? The light, everything. <laughs> wow, that was speechless. Stunning. Got a wee courtyard as well. 
It was quite a long process to get here from the Lebanese border. We went through five different checkpoints, um, but it was not as intimidating as what you would have thought. There was like quite a lot of guards, people in army uniform, but they're smiling, they're saying welcome to Syria. Like it just felt, made the experience quite magic magical because obviously it does feel a wee bit nervous coming somewhere like here. And the strangest thing about going through passport control was we were in a group of five. They just took our passports, they went away with our passports and they just stamped them. They didn't look to see if it was actually us in the pictures or anything like that. But look what we now have. Syrian stamp. A Syrian stamp on our passport. How exciting is that? Not many people can say that, can they? No. <laughs> but wow, what a place and what a first hotel. We're so excited to start off this adventure.